everyone! Yes, I know it's a little late, but I've been very busy with my birthday and Christmas and getting engaged and... Oh yes, you heard me right! In case you didn't know, Tuck popped the question and I said yes! Which makes today the perfect time to talk about... Boy problems! But first, a little eye candy! She's the cat, she's the next biggest thing. She's a feline who has talent, she cannot dance and sing. But for now, she's here slinging advice, and she'll answer all your questions if you ask her advice. Dear Tippy. Oh, Lamore, Lamore, it's so good to be young and beautiful and in love, which makes it my duty to try and help others who are not as fortunate who are maybe a little romantically challenged, Nespa. Okay, first up, Hottie Cat One writes, I am having boy problems. I crushed this cute boy at my school. So the question is, what would you do if you crushed a cute boy? Well, Hottie Cat One, I don't know where you learned that crushing a boy is a good thing, but I'm pretty sure that if you're trying to get someone to like you, you don't crush them first. That would hurt! And how would you do it anyway? Do you sit on them or drop a piano on their head? I certainly hope this doesn't become a new fad like planking because I do not want to see a bunch of crushed boys running around like flattened pancakes. It would be too disturbing. Okay, next up, Maddie5B writes, Dear cutest cat on earth, Tippy. Oh, stop! There's this boy I like, I can't tell you who, but he doesn't know I exist. My friend used to like him, not anymore though. She's been trying to give me advice, but it's not working. What should I do? Please help! Well, Manny 5 p the first thing I'm curious about is why your friend doesn't like him anymore. Did she find out something terrible about him that she's not sharing with you? Or has she just moved on to the next Justin Bieber wannabe? Inquiring minds want to know. Nevertheless, the best way to show a boy you like him is to ask him questions about his interests. Not in an annoying, nosy way, but in a way that shows you're interested in him without really saying it. Like if he's into football, ask him who his favorite team or player is. Or if he's into musical theater, ask him which character on Glee he most identifies with. Because believe me, this could really help you in the long run. The point is, don't ever appear needy or clingy, because those qualities can instantly turn a boy off. Appear interested, but not so interested that you come across like a stalker. Be casual, confident, and always maintain a little distance. Remember, mystery is important. And by no means should you ever tell your entire life story to anyone except your future husband. And maybe not even him. Well, that's it for now. See you on the other side of the tune again. She's a cat. She's the next biggest thing. She's a feline who has talent. She can act and sing. But for now, she's here slinging advice. And she'll answer all your questions if you ask her real nice. Dear to be. Check out the 2012 collection of Cat Clips mugs, t-shirts, mouse beds, CDs, and more at wizardofwit.com.